Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel Mendoza. I'm a PhD student at the University of Chicago. And today we have a presentation on Beyond Binaries in Community Center Research Relationships under the project of Mexican Indigenous Language Promotion and Advocacy. Following the recent trends of shifting approaches in language documentation research, it is important to recognize that the colonial nature and history of linguistics and anthropology. Uh, in our work, we increasingly collaborative um, community-based recl and reclamation center and prioritizing community needs and goals. The traditional approach has privileged ac academic researchers who control the uh, research agenda through our research relationships. We spend who and what get to be answer answers to these questions. Um, dismantling binary ideologies on linguistic research. We had two set of binaries, which are the first one is relationship binaries, which are expert versus novice, university versus community, adult versus youth. And the second one is research, research binaries, which are parallel versus process, and social versus social cultural linguistics, and theory versus application. Um, in our partnership, Mexican Indigenous Language Promotion and Advocacy. It is a collaboration with UCSB Linguistics and the, and the Mesteco Indigena Community Organizing Project, MICOP. It was established in 2015. 15. The purpose is to support the language needs and goals of New Savvy communities and other Mexican Indigenous people on California. Central Coast, which are Santa Maria, um, Oxnard, Ventura, which are Santa Barbara County and Ventura County. Don um, Savi is a diverse language complex of up to 200 varieties origin originating in La Mixteca, part of the Mexican state of Oaxaca, Guerrero, and, Pue and Puebla. With the uh, extensive forced migration from La Mixteca, to other part of Mexico and to the US, especially in California as well. And in Ventura and ben Santa Barbara County, there's at least 30 villages in those area. Um, following with the language needs and goals, um, language shift in younger, younger generation due to English only schooling and racist bullying uh, many Tonsavi speakers do not speak English or Spanish, and Tonsavi is not widely recognized in California. And there's also lack of key services in Tonsavi. There's four guidelines, principles of MILPA, prioritizing community needs, preferences, and goals, centering the role of community members in project activities, and maximizing community access to resources, and valuing sharing our participant knowledge. And one of the projects of MILPA we have been working on is uh, collaborative uh, language documentation with adults. For example, the film method class in UCSB and language documentation workshops in working groups in my cup. And I myself, I taught Don Savic adult literacy classes in Oxnard. And also the Take You in Skills, which are a collaboration with graduate student uh, linguists in UCSB and give a free college level language class to the youth in, in Take You. And community language service, which are really important because we have to know how many people speak Tonsavi and other indigenous languages and, and their needs in those areas. And the first one is the creation of language materials for community use. Uh, now, as we mentioned before, there's two sets of binaries, which are relationship binary and research binary. And we, the first one is uh, answering the expert novice binary, which valuing complementary and sometimes conflicting form of knowledge reducing the authority of, of academic expertise, uh, centering the authority of community members' expertise. 
And the examples we have is um, bridging knowledge of like, linguistic analysis, multilingualism, and cultural expertise, uh, community language trained university members, leading language workshops, navigating inclusive multilingual spaces. Um, another one is dynamic roles, which we are, we are expert in some capacities and novice in others. For example, the surveys versus service design versus uh, implementation versus data processing and graduate student um, community linguists and community participating documentation, they have very roles of in the project. Thank you. The second of the relationship binaries that Milpa aims to dismantle <clears throat> is the university community binary. The idea is breaking down the barriers that prevent community members from accessing university resources and also finding ways to integrate community members as official university members and vice versa with university members um, in official capacities or as interns with the community organization MICOP. Some examples of our work here include the linguistics field methods classes at UCSB, which operate every other year, and community members that participate in the class formally become university employees. And we try to maintain those affiliations into the future after the course so that community members maintain access to UCSB Box, UCSB's um, institutional Zoom, uh, library resources, and other things. And community members go on to take the skills that they learn in the class in leading community language programs of their own, and that those that involve collaboration with the Milpa project. In the community language survey, MICOP contributes infrastructure, their network, and their personnel to carry out the survey, while the inter-university contributes resources such as funding, internships, graduate students supporting the um, administration of the survey at MICOP, and uh, undergraduate research assistance. So, bringing the roles across the two institutions is one way to undo this binary. And then finally, uh, community me com uh, project members occupy multiple roles at once. So for example, Gabriel has been a community member, a Tokyo youth leader at the start, <clears throat> then a, a BA linguistic student at UCSB, and now a PhD student at the University of Chicago. And graduate students become active in other types of community programming that aren't necessarily um, directly a part of MILPA. The third and final of the relationship binaries that we aim to undo um, is the adult youth binary. We do this by valuing and learning from young people's knowledge, insights, and lived experiences, and recognize the fact that they have special expertise as leaders and as agents in their families and in the community. And so this shines in the research process. And we also recognize that the youth are the key to maintaining linguistic and cultural identities into the future, especially in the diaspora context where language shift is particularly rapid. And youth often bring special technical skills that uh, older community members often don't have. Some examples of this are Tikio skills uh, students in the linguistic anthropology class had a role in the development of the community language survey by piloting it among each other and then with family members and students take what they learn in the class and they share their linguistic appreciation with parents. And this sort of helps to promote cultural valorization and understanding of uh, complex identities as migrants uh, more broadly in the community. Undergraduate research assistants 
work closely with graduate students to shape the coding process uh, for the survey data. And they bring their own varied perspectives and expertises uh, from their own studies, but especially from their own lived experiences, because most of them identify as Latinx and or indígena and or immigrant. And they often have played roles as language brokers for their families in community contexts in daily life. Now turning to the second set of binaries, the research binaries. The first one is the product process binary. And to undo this binary, we have to reject the academic ideology that values the research product over the process. How the work is done is central to what is produced. And so the process is key. And this requires slowing down, changing plans, and letting go of original research goals as priorities and needs may shift over time. Some examples of this are the field methods class. Not all students of the class continue to work with MISTEC afterwards, but they can carry the collaborative model of research that they learn in the class to their other work. In the documentation and description activities, uh, there is capacity building for community members and academic linguists. This creates infrastructure for collaborations beyond the class and for community pursuit of language goals. And all of the data from the class and from other MILPA activities becomes available to the um, team members. In Takeo Skills, uh, we ended up having to reduce the role of youth as survey administrators due to the logistical challenges. And originally we had planned for the youth to do uh, documentation and uh, anal analysis of video interactional data that ultimately had to be abandoned as well. Second of the research binaries is the structural and sociocultural binary. So as Ahlers points out, uh, there's a call for documentary linguists to find a place for anthropology within linguistics as the two fields have more and more diverged over the decades. And that sociocultural knowledge sheds crucial light on linguistic structure and vice versa. So we aim to bring these two often um, artificially separated approaches together into one cohesive framework. Some examples are the construction of corpora of language use. Uh, which informs the understanding of cultural, historical, and variationist linguistic knowledge, also informs the understanding of linguistic structure, and provides the basis for the material that's used to create community language um, activities and literature. Takeo skills versus other skills projects, and the Takeo students have a strong interest in structural linguistics, connecting with the um, structure of their indigenous languages, but also largely as a means of explaining and exploring their more socio-culturally framed experiences with their languages. The next binary is the theory application binary. So it's a fact that community goals more often focus on language reclamation than on the technical analysis for the sake of the analysis itself. And it's crucial to understand that theoretical perspectives shape how researchers approach real world problems and taking a usage based approach to understanding language can tie in and contribute directly to the applied work that community practitioners prioritize. What often is the case um, in applied type of research being devalued fails to recognize that this kind of work is essential for advancing linguistic theory. And ultimately method and theory um, are not seen in Milpa as, in, as separable, uh, just as they are not in many other intellectual paradigms, such as ethnographic approaches in an indigenous epistemologies. Examples of this are having community members centered in the research process and then the process of knowledge production. Orthography development provides some examples as being both applied and theoretical. So on the one hand, orthography brings literacy and language visibility into more domains in the community, um, but it also requires engaging with some of the analytic, analytical challenges in the sound system and the morphological structure. For example, person marking has helped us um, create orthographies in a way that can account for the complex and um, 
unique patterns that you find in person marking and these mutually inform each other. So the analysis informs the orthography and implementing that analysis in the orthography has shed light on the actual structures that we're trying to represent. And beyond that, um, the this type of work assists in the analysis that in, to inform historical and comparative studies. For other examples, uh, for breaking down this binary check out the other talk here at ICLDC in Friday's Q&A session 4.6 about learning together through liter literacy materials for Tu'unanyu Samachinje. Some of the challenges in our project are uh, in the relationship side of things um, is the amount of research time that is available and the balance of that with real life demands. People have many other commitments and goals. Another challenge has been um, occasional miscommunication and um, differing expectations. And uh, another research relationship challenge is within the institutional context where inflexible university policies often create obstacles um, to us to continue carrying out what the like the way things that we'd like to do the way that we want to do them that we have to create um, be creative in finding ways to work around those obstacles so research challenges providing some more specific examples uh, often funders can shape the research by having particular criteria that constrain the nature of research projects and often the kinds of work that we like to do um, it may be hard to explain the benefits uh, or measure them in ways that funders can understand. Um, another challenge is that the work is often very time consuming and challenging. For example, outcomes that are more practical are often slow to develop and to disseminate. And so it requires a lot of patience and it requires a lot of funding to support community language experts because the, the research takes so much time to do. Uh, finally, there are many moving parts in this project. It's multi-sided. There are many participants. There are, there's data of many types with many editors of that data. Um, but the benefits of the, the shared model here far outweigh these challenges. To overcome some of these challenges, uh, we have to communicate very clearly, regularly with everybody involved in the work. Uh, it requires being patient and creative in finding solutions to issues and being open to changing goals and procedures. And we have to work to foment change in the institutions and funders to help dismantle some of the obstacles that we face in those domains. And uh, working to improve workflows and technical challenges because often linguistic field work software is not designed for easy and optimal sharing of data and multiple people working on it at the same time. So in conclusion, MILPA aims to center community perspectives and goals in research planning, implementation, and dissemination. And we break question and break down these binaries that have long existed in the field in research relationships and in the process and outcomes of research. So implications for this work are that realizing that relationships are the core of every aspect of the project. They're at the center of all of these binaries that we challenge. And this points to another false binary that we have presented in this talk, um, this binary between research and relationships. Essentially, they are inseparable for the work we're trying to do, and both need to be nurtured in community-centered research. Thank you. Ji ku takutu akora tituni no jibato. Quetana ni ke tikanda vitio. Chakutu bananya ka sa sabi. Chabato nyu sabi tina. Nyasa na tava manto nyu sa ago kunya skuna nina se ena aki tiluna sa sabi. Savana ni kita chana ya. Savana ni kita tachuna ya no radio. Savana nikita skwa ana chanuba a ka a a chanuba a kibi sava kwe tu unu kibi a. Kwe tu tu kwe video nya sa a kwe ti universida a yo o. Ka a nya ba ita ba chinchi yi da kwa nu sa a sabi. Ande endi indo. Di ku chinyo nya ikan di ika ba aya biti yo nda ku inina nyundi yo ba inina ka an ina tu undi. Shina ba lisi ena, 
nanda doso ini nasha atu una yonda ku ini nas na anatu un sabina o kanatu anta satana os na anta anash aya ka ana ini tu ndabi ya ikan di bitin kuya tandi kondinda ki indi tu undi tu una ya tandi na che indi nyanda ko nanda andi shin a tiempo biti yonda ku ini di nyakundi na nyun sabi tisha bindi indo na chinde ikachi nyujo ok 